Released in November of 1988, this American horror film from director Tom Holland was a decent success, scoring almost five times its $9 million budget. The tightly paced 87-minute story opens with Brad Dorif as a deranged killer, transferring his consciousness via some sort of mind meld to an emotionless being. Wait, is this the plot to a Star Trek Voyager episode or a quirky slasher film? Speaking of Star Trek, though, The Voyage Home's Catherine Hicks stars as the lead protagonist, a single mother in Chicago who must protect her child after learning the doll she gave him for his birthday is possessed with the soul of a murderer. She plays the clean and wholesome mother figure excellently, and is mostly convincing as she battles with her three-foot-tall enemy. A young Alan Vincent is better than can be expected as the tormented child, whose newest toy is a vicious psychopath. Chris Sarandon rounds out the group as a steadfast police detective who mostly just goes through the unbelievable motions. It's Dorif, though, who truly gives the best performance in the R-rated movie, embodying the Chucky doll with a gleeful and terrifying demeanor. When the narrative is done milking the nobody believes me trope, the manic doll reveals himself to Hicks by cheerfully declaring, Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? The events on screen are often silly, but this moment, when Dorif's alter ego finally comes alive, is a rather chilling scene. The visual techniques that are used to bring Chucky to life don't always hold up by today's standards, but service the action well enough, especially since the doll isn't sentient until halfway through the picture. Later, an attempted murder during an evening drive is a fun sequence that's packed with action, even if it is at the expense of realism. Generally speaking, this is a conventional flick that delivers with some graphic violence, but it's the unique and intriguing premise that makes it so entertaining. Indeed, Child's Play went on to spawn a six-film series over the next 25 years, each sequel seeing moderate amounts of success of its own. Joe Renzetti's score is a quiet and droning one, breaking the silence with sharp hits whenever a quick scare is needed. There's no underlying message or artistic value to this production, it's just a simple, enjoyable little horror film that should scare most kids next time they attempt to play with their Cabbage Patch doll. I can't say I'll ever watch this one again, but checking out one or two of the sequels doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Child's Play is a lively slasher romp with a memorable villain. And here's what you had to say about it in the YouTube comments. Although cheesy and predictable, you definitely enjoyed this one, ranking it a great. A bit too hard to take seriously and a bit too formulaic to really impress, I only thought this was a good movie.